from Dulcimer's Down Under. Welcome, Welcome to, to Dulcimer's America. America. Hi everybody and welcome to Dulce America. My name is Bing Futch and I'm sitting here in the backyard of my house in Orlando. I'm back home from tour. It's been an amazing time, but it's always nice to come home. That tune right there is called Nixon's Farewell and I'm gonna teach it to you here in a moment. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my patrons on Patreon, Karen Von Allman. Karen, thank you very much for becoming a patron. I appreciate you as I appreciate all the patrons who have signed up for this subscription service and you guys are helping to make this video take place as well as a lot of this activity coming up here in the next few months. My patrons have helped to create CDs, produce tours, and actually repair my RV when it has breakdowns in the middle of nowhere. So they are a very essential part of everything that I do every single day and Karen, I thank you very much for being one of those people. Now, if you're wondering what this Patreon thing is all about, all you have to do is visit this link right down here. That's patreon.com slash bingfutch. It's kind of like Netflix, but instead of it being a whole bunch of movie studios putting their films up there for you to see, it's just me. Every artist has their own Patreon that serves their type of art, and mine serves music and video. If you sign up for just $5 a month, not only will you get every single CD I've ever released, every single book I've self-published, and every single video I've ever produced, but you will also get all of my teaching materials and all of my tablature from the past 10 years, plus everything new that happens every single week. I upload new songs, I upload uh, new videos, new tablature, and new selections from albums and books that are being produced currently, and all of that stuff goes to you, the patron, long before the general public ever gets a whiff. So if you're interested in finding out some of what's available to you, just go to patreon.com, slash Bing Futch, check out all the offerings, and then think about joining us here in this wonderful community where everybody can become a part of my art. My patrons really help to produce a lot of different things, including the Dulce America video podcast. I thank you guys all so much for doing that. Thanks for checking it out, and Karen, thanks again. So this tune I'm playing here is called Nixon's Farewell. It was written by Kurt Botors, um, who plays a lot of different instruments and is also a great composer of tunes. And uh, legend has it that he believed at, at one point in time that every single sitting president needed their own outgoing theme song. And this one was composed, I believe, in 1974. I think you can put the pieces together for the rest. It's a cool little tune, and I learned this from Gary Sager. And as far as I can tell, I've never heard anybody else play it in a jam. And that's a darn shame because it's a really super cool tune. So I am teaching it to you now in hopes that you'll pick it up and call it out at your next jam. So let me start by walking you through the melody and then we'll talk about how to incorporate the chords and everything. We're gonna start off on the bass string at the second fret, hit two and then hit three. Then we'll go to the open on the middle string. Just like that. From here, we're gonna hit that first fret middle string. Then we'll walk up the middle string. So from the beginning, whoops. That last note is on the melody string open. Then we're gonna do a hammer-on situation right there on the middle string. So we're gonna hammer on one, 
and two, and then come back to open melody. So in context, all of that together. Okay, from there we're gonna do um, a little chord movement, starting with melody first on the second fret. Then we go into a 0, 1, 3 G chord. Come down to two again on the melody string and then 101 A. In context. Another hammer-on situation on the middle string going to the melody open. Now this part, we're gonna hop through the strings again. It can be a little tricky. We're gonna go. Again, it's open melody, open middle, then hit two on the bass string. Again from there. Then come back to the middle string open. From one, one, zero, one, two, open melody. Let me go. So two, one. When you go to your 101, you're gonna hold on to the one with your index finger or whatever you're using on the bass string at the first fret. And the thumb will take care of this next line. One, open, middle string two, and then open for your D. All right, so again, in context, that whole A, uh, the whole A section goes like this. That's the A part. I'll do that one more time. Now I'm not laying into the chords right now because I want you to very clearly hear the melody and then know that that chord, those chords are gonna be backing that melody up. So now with the chords more pronounced the key to this song is bringing in the chords as hard or as soft as you as you want to because it is very much a flat picking tune you might even find yourself simply playing the melody and letting somebody else carry the chords all right, now the S B section is very, very simple. We're just going to go 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 3, and then 2, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh. We do our hammer on to the middle, ending up on the open melody, and then 2, 0, 1, 3, 2, 1, 0, oh, 1. Then back to that, two, zero, one, three, two, three, two, one, oh. Now you go to four, and then our little tag. And then we'll repeat the B section. And that's uh, the A part and the B part. So again, you can do this whole thing flat picked and you'll notice sometimes as I go through that I'll just let the chords go away and focus on the flat picking because you're doing a lot of picking on the bass string, the middle string, as well as the melody string. And if you drone, if you drone all the time, if you go across the strings all the time, you will bury those melody notes. So 
a dynamic approach is the best way to go here. Go back and forth with it. It can be very hard to go from picking all the way across the string to just focusing on the middle string. So a little practice will make this a lot easier to get around. I'll do the A part and the B part all together now and watch for the dynamics, listen for the dynamics as I bring in more drone and less drone going through. And that is the bulk of it right there, Nixon's Farewell. It's a fun tune, it's an all-nighter. It's such a cool, cool little thing. And if you're not used to doing the flat picking thing, it's a great tune to practice that on. And these moves that we're making from the bass to the middle to the melody string are moves that you're gonna make over and over again when you get used to playing tunes across the strings in that box, in that region from the third fret down to open. So the more you get used to using certain fingers on certain frets, the easier this sort of thing will get to you. I tend to like to use two fingers and the thumb. My thumb tends to take care of three, index finger takes care of two, and middle finger takes care of one. In the case of this song, however, because I don't have a bunch happening on the bass string, I do use my two strongest fingers that are aligned the same way as opposed to the thumb, which is turned a little bit differently, and I get the first two notes with these fingers. But notice when I come down here and start working all three of these frets that I go to this two finger and thumb configuration. So whatever's your strongest, that's a launching off point. Same thing with these three fingers, lay them here, here, and here. But every once in a while you'll use alternate fingering for whatever is going to be most comfortable for you. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you learn this tune and play it for a lot of people because again it is a very very fun tune and it will open the door to a lot more of these hybrid tunes that involve flat picking as well as full strums all the way across the fretboard. I'll be back with more songs right after this and once again if you are interested in joining up with Patreon, visit the link down below patreon.com slash bingfutch. I got a lot more teaching, music, fun for you, and all it takes is $5 a month, and then off you go. I've been talking to Adrian Kosky, and now I'm picking up a little bit of an Australian accent. Until next time, my friends, this is Bing. Uh, uh, boy, it's noisy out here. They're working on the freeway across the street, and isn't that delightful? 24 hours a day. It's just craziness. Play this one, play it mightily, play it often, and we'll see you next time right here on Dulce America. Thank you.
optional vibrato 